Florence Pugh goes braless in a sheer gown at Valentino Runway. Free the fucking nipple, she says. There we go. Okay, we're going to show some pictures of it too. The 26-year-old carried herself with complete confidence, not using any sort of undergarment to cover her nipples, which were left visible under the bright fabric. I was excited to wear it. Are we not allowed to show it? Oh, yeah, here we go. I was excited to wear it. Not a wink of me was nervous. I wasn't before, during, or even now after. It isn't the first time and certainly won't be the last time a woman will hear what's wrong with her body by a crowd of strangers. Okay, I love when women say this. They're like, everyone's weighing in on my boob. You put the boobies out there. Of course, people are going to comment on them. People comment about everything. They're gonna, someone's going to tell me they hate my shirt. Someone's going to tell me they don't like my bun. Everybody comments about everything. But here's my problem with this. Women need, you gotta just save something. You gotta save something hmm. for your partner, for behind closed doors. There's nothing sexier to me sometimes than a woman who's buttoned up, who's a little buttoned up, you know, hmm. beautiful, does the hair and makeup, like looks all, but is buttoned up. I feel like women, like there's nothing left to the imagination. You put the nipples out there, what's left, really? I mean, we know what's left. That's coming soon too. It's gonna be like, oh, look, clear down to so the bottom. So let me get this straight. Are you saying you're not a fan of the free I'm saying I, I just like, listen, if I have nipples, they pop out every now and then. I mean, it happens, right? Hold on, what? I have, we just find just out happens. that Jedi has nipples? I have nipples. Listen, let's break some news here. I've got nipples. Breaking Can you, uh, news. Yeah, I, I've got nipples, you milk me, fucker? I am a woman. Breaking news. I have nipples. You're identifying as a woman or you are no, a woman? I, well, both. I'm identifying. Boom. No, I identify. I already told you I'm a woman. I identify as a cat. How many times I got to tell you? <laughs> do you think, as yeah. a man, as a man, do you appreciate a woman who, like, do you want to see it all out there like that? Is that appealing to you? Or do you appreciate a woman who saves a little bit, mm -hmm. doesn't show the whole world, and that's special for you? Because they've chosen you and you go home at night and you get to see what everybody else doesn't get to see. Mm. Genuinely curious. Yeah, fair question. Uh, what the young girl was wearing with sort of pseudo nipples out there, more power to you. However, um, I kind of agree with you on this one. I think like I'm not saying I want a girl wearing like a like a nun outfit buttoned up. I mean, let's not get crazy here. Let's not go to you know like I don't, I'm not trying to have like a put a like we're going to the Middle East and putting like a whole thing Breaking on. Breaking news: Adam's not attracted yeah. to nuns. No, Just saying. or uh, hijab. Okay. Um, but yeah, I think that there should be a fine line between like looking sexy and attractive, but also like saving a little something for, you know, for the man in the bedroom or whatever you got going on. So don't put it all out there. Like there's girls in South Beach that run out with, I mean, they're free and everything. Like everything's free. Yeah. And at some point it's like clean it up a little bit. Do you know why some women do that though, Adam? I have to tell you. Because they want to look, no, they, no. they want to feel good about themselves. No, because there is a segment of the woman, female population that wants to that that wants to be desired, right? They want they're like at, what you described before about people mm -hmm. who are like out there and they're like putting it out there for somebody else. And what happens is, women, if they if they if they dress sexy, mm -hmm. but they're not trashy, what happens is they go on a date with a guy, and then some girl that's putting it all out there walks down the street, and, and that guy who spent the last two hours telling their girlfriend, you know what, I love that you just look sexy mm -hmm. and classy, I love classy, watches that trashy looking girl walk down the street and goes, uh. mm -hmm. So the lesson for that woman is, oh, wait a minute, he's telling me he likes one thing, but he doesn't. Can you explain that to me? Is that just guys, is that just guys like you see something like a cheeseburger and you're like, uh? Or is that really like you're lying to women and you really, really want to look at all the goods out there, but you don't want it for your woman because you don't want other guys seeing their goods? Like, what's going on here? Hmm. Tell me the psychology of it. You want me to reveal I want to women how men think. Yes, that's right. Yeah. You're on Genetide Be Alive. This is not Saucecast. Yes, that's true. I don't. Well, I, this, <laughs> Tell, might, give me some this might upset some of the viewers. But it's possible for a guy to be super attractive and maybe even in love with this woman right here. Mm -hmm. But if some smoke show walks by, he might want to do this. Mm. And kind of like what you said about the good guy that walks in a room and makes eye contact with a couple of women at the bar and goes in beelines over at his woman. Same concept. Mm. Like, But you don't want your woman. Is there something to be said like you want your woman classy? Mm -hmm. You want the girl you're with to be classy. You don't want her doing that. But you'll go look if some other woman's doing that. Yeah, is that I, how it works? Look, to be I, like I have a friend who's ridiculously jealous, okay? And he'll say, I don't want guys looking at my chick, bro. 
like super jealous. Like, I don't want, don't, what you gonna do no, about I don't want it? my girl going out. Like I go, well, let me ask you, pose you a question. So I'm like, so you don't like guys looking at your chick. I go, well, why do you think they're looking at your chick? Cause she's hot, bro. I go, well, let me pose a question. Would you rather your girl walk in and people look at her and just like look the other way or don't even pay attention? Cause I have something to tell you, buddy. That means they don't find your chick hot at all. And she's unattractive. Is that what you want from your girl? He's like, no, I don't want that either. That then I go, well, then you can't have it both ways. You can't have a beautiful woman or a hot woman and then not expect people to look. Mm -hmm. Okay, so go date an ugly fat girl and nobody's going to look. I promise, bro. Mm -hmm. Okay, but... It's like they want their they want the other guys to want their woman, but they want to be mad when the other guys look at their woman. It's very strange. It's like quite a conundrum. Jealousy is not a good uh, quality, but you want to be able to at least... Trust jealousy is not jealousy can be sexy if it's like not crazy. You know, you want a man who I would want a man who like this is my woman. You know, mm -hmm. hands off. You know, it's not for you. you Let know, me tell you, you this. I know who he's talking about, and it, it borders on crazy. Does it really? You know who I'm See, talking about? That's a very about? insecure. Yeah, that's an insecure man. Do you? I think I do. No. Let's not. Well, if it. not, we know somebody in common that's like. <laughs> oh, that's not who I'm talking about. No one we work with here. But however, but look, guys have eyes. You know how they say like... So do you, we, by the way. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> um, you know how they say like, you've got two ears and one mouth for a reason, right? So like, listen more than you talk. You also have two eyes, right? So like, that's most guys to like breaking news. That's all they want to do. They want to sit here with their girl and they want to just be able to do this from time to time. Mm. And just like, that's all. They don't want to go get that girl's number. They're not trying to sleep with Can her. I ask you this? They're how just do, trying how to acknowledge... I hear you. It can be disrespectful, I would imagine. Have you never seen Jeremy do this? When Ever? We, when we first started dating, I saw it a couple of times, okay. to be perfectly honest. First started dating, but he, I don't see that at all now. Because you Did you G-check him? No, I'm Because you're the type I, no, of girl to be like, what the fuck are you No, I made at? a joke about it. What the fuck it? are you looking at? I made a joke about at? it. That we're at a knife. We're at a restaurant. I got a knife right no, here, you know mother. What? what are you looking no, at? I I like, oh, yes, ma'am. I made a joke about yes, it. Yes, ma'am. And I, I really made a joke because I really felt like if he was going to be looking, he should be looking at somebody hotter than that. I didn't, I didn't find his Ooh. taste to be that good. I Really, I was like, because you know, sometimes I'll look at a girl. I'm not going to lie. I'm not attracted to women, but sometimes. And why I'll are you be, looking at the girl? Well, sometimes I'll look at a girl because sometimes it's not about like hot. It's about like, mm -hmm. wow, what's going on with that outfit? Or, yeah. oh, that's like a shock value. Can we just all agree that women are nice to look at? Men can be nice to look at too. Not as when, not as pretty oh, no. as women. I disagree there. Well, I disagree that, that, there. Listen, well, that's, that's why, why we're different. different. We're different. <laughs> if you like the short clip, you can catch another one here, or you can catch the full episode right here.